Good evening traders, it's Mark here from the Day Trading Room. It's Sunday evening, it's uh, about 20 to 10 uh, London time and I'm just reviewing um, the week ahead. I'm going to look at some levels and I'm going to see um, what I can uh, spot in the charts or in the economic calendar. So uh, first of all let's have a look at the daily. Um, this is the Dow, the Dow Cash on the daily. Um, you can see really what the what the story is. We all know we've we've, we've dropped off from the highs, um, made some lows, had a bit of a flash crash, made new lows at about nine six hundred recently, and we've been in, um, in an uptrend since since July, um, which I've marked here uh, on the chart. Uh, we've oops, it easy. Let's get that back. Okay, um, that's the uptrend recently. Uh, we've broken that. We gapped down actually a couple of days ago and we've been consolidating um, near the near the lows um, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens we've got um, the volumes relatively low and going into next week and the next couple of weeks up until the the Labor Day holiday I do expect the volume to dwindle unless of course there is some sort of catalyst which creates the volatility and and keeps traders at their desks it's going to be a situation in my eyes anyway of um, no volume then the traders will, will just leave it alone if we do see some then um, you know it's gonna have to be something interesting the way I've been approaching approaching August so far has been to trade the open trade the first hour and then just to see it and if the volume dies down which it has been it's been dying down very very quickly to walk away to leave it and to, to perhaps have a look in the um, in the evening unless it's a busy day and then there's the, perhaps another couple of setups during the day but generally on the whole it's the first hour of the day which so that's uh, what I'm expecting for next week so let's drill down a bit let's go straight to a 10 minute um, so we'll stick with the Dow cash again um, as you can see this has been the top, top end of the range that we'd been consolidating in for a couple of weeks ago and then we broke down we, we gapped down and we started around here and and the last three days, the Friday, Thursday and Wednesday have been a trend down day and two consolidation days. Now, just a standard sort of um, expectation would be for a further break lower. So, But the key level for me is this 10, 10 300 cash. We have probed below it a few times. In fact, we got to uh, 10 to 85. So we've not gone, we've gone below below that I know on on the Thursday we did start low and rally up but if we just take them at what's happened generally under normal circumstances the 10 300 has been a floor and the 10 350 has been a ceiling so those two levels are my are my big levels going into the week I'd like to see how the market reacts to those levels as it approaches them and of course if we gap out of either of them whether we pull back towards that range um, or whether we then break free into a new a new development type trade uh, will be interesting so for me I'm still looking at these ranges and I'm still going to be looking for, uh, for, for especially on the short side if we probe up we start to fail we start to roll over then for me that's a great a great little short and actually if we do perhaps take out these highs by a few ticks come back into the middle of this range consolidate perhaps and then have a look at the lower end of the range we've got more chance of breaking through similarly if we do push lower and we can't attract any sellers then it's likely to push back uh, into this range um, alternatively another way of looking at it if we just zoom in a little bit better on that um, if we do push out with some volume then a great trade is going to be a pullback and then and then a, a trade in the continuation of the of the of the uh, direction and similarly on the downside I've got this 10 250 level here which uh, has been a bit of congestion a while ago so that's what that's on my radar if we break this with conviction uh, my targets will be 10 250 and then 10 200 but like I say I don't expect a lot of continuation unless of course we do get some some news so let's have a quick look at the news what we've got um, on the calendar we've got a Monday uh, one thirty. this is London time by the way I'm thinking one thirty London 8.30 Eastern Empire State Manufacturing 
and then we've got the housing market 3 p.m. 10 a.m. Eastern Tuesday uh, this is a bit more interesting stuff we've got uh, housing starts PPI and industrial production to look out for oil inventories at 1030 Eastern on the Wednesday Thursday jobless as always uh, leading indicators at 3 o'clock fully fed at 3 o'clock and the natty gas art uh, at uh, 3 30 or 10 30 eastern nothing on friday um and i'm not sure if it's witching i think it's witching on friday i'll, I'll double check that but have a look double check that for yourself 20th of august it may well be witching so um that could be a very very quiet day um so we'll see i mean if they if they give us some some uh, volatility and perhaps reprice the market then then that's uh that will give us some more action so here's a five minute chart um, very quickly now because we've, we've only got really at the moment these are the, the key levels this is the main thing I'm looking at again we don't repeat myself but this is a YM chart by the way this is not a cash so this is why you can see the gaps and the why the levels are obviously different same sort of story of, of course you know we've got the this range here it's a bear flag the expectation is to push lower perhaps we push higher I don't know I mean the volume is, is dwindling as I say so um, I'll just take it as it comes but I've got those levels in mind put it that way um, over here we've got an on-field gap so if we do start picking up some steam to the downside and we do start breaking into this area then I'd expect that gap to be filled uh, if we look at one minute so this is the, tr the trade from from yesterday and also you can just see Thursday sorry Friday and you see Thursday in there as well you can see we've literally oscillated around the VWAP we've probed lower uh, this was the bottom of the range and it was such an extension away from the VWAP it pushed back higher this is all it's been and it's very similar for the last few days so if we get this more of the same I'll be I'll be selling the top of the range and I'll be buying the bottom of the range if we we need a decisive break either way for me to jump and uh, and take a continuation trade but you know keep keep an eye out guys for this level this level up here on the ym you know anywhere it starts getting between 10 3 10 3 15 and 10 3 30 you want to pay attention you want to look at the volume you want to look at the ticks you want to look at the time of the day and you want to make your decision from there similarly on the downside anywhere from this 10 to 60 you know 10 to 70 10 to 60 right down to this 10 to 50 that sort of 20 point zone again look at your volume look at your ticks look at your time of day and make your decision because it's a good place to do business and um, whether you're taking a, a fade uh, for a pop back into the range or whether it's, it's a good bit of volume and it's flushing through just one more thing before we go um, is recently these trend lines have been fantastic if I just show you some quick examples um, it is because we're in a range it's not the sort of thing I would normally look for but you know I go with what's what's working at the moment drawing little trend lines like this we have little up trend lines they break they pull back to the trend line and then they break lower and then again you get caught in another little trend here like this so you draw your downtrend line, you wait, wait for the break, pull back and take your scalp and then higher. You know, this is the sort of thing that has been happening quite frequently. Again, you can see on Friday, absolute classic, you know, downtrend cycle, let it cycle over a longer period, let it break the trend line and you're looking for another to be on, you know, the roll of that cycle back up to the top of the range. So that's how the, the best way to play the range is if you can. Get your little trend lines out on your one minute be aware of the the levels look out for a gap if there's a gap tomorrow we don't know yet because it's not the futures aren't open um, but if we're in the range then look for probes on the other side if we gap out the range look for a pull back to the range and then see what happens from there okay guys well have a, hope you have a great week trading and um, i'll be back with some videos on monday evening